Hi everyone. So today I'll be showing you how to get these beautiful, beautiful curls, uh, subtle waves using uh, the Amica Clipless Curler. And uh, this uh, is a tourmaline uh, curler and it comes with a swivel cord and uh, this helps you like you don't have to mess around and uh, this is really good. It's get uh, really hot um, within uh, 20 seconds, I guess. And uh, it uh, is it goes all the way up to 400 degrees. So this is pretty hot when it's turned on. And uh, curls are really, you know, they stay for a long time. Uh, they are like you can get uh, the second day curls also. It will be fabulous. So... And this is a conical curler. It goes all the way from 25 mm uh, to 18 mm. So it's uh, kind of uh, on your roots, you'll get uh, big waves and on, uh, on the tips, you'll get tighter curls. So this is uh, uh, really good. And uh, I would recommend like if you are looking for buying a uh, um, curler then uh, go for this this one is really good ceramic infused tourmaline uh, um, it produces a negative like uh, ions uh, so it helps reduce frizz also and uh, your curls are also uh, more shiny and um, that's it uh, that's my review about this curling wand and um, i recently owned it i have used it for four or five times i've not used it much but i love it i am in love with this curler because for the first time i am able to hold like i'm able to get good curls and it stays it stays for a long time so that's why i'm in love with this curler so i would recommend if you are looking for buying um, a curler uh, so go for it and uh, this is a pretty good curler you'll love and uh, thanks for watching and uh, let's get into the tutorial so the very first thing that uh, you should do when you are using any kind of uh, uh, heating tool is apply heat protectant. Uh, this is my KQC thermal shine heat protectant and I'll be applying it liberally on the tips of your hair because it's the part that gets most damage, gets split ends. So always use heat protectant spray on the tips of uh, your hair uh, as much as you can like generously use it so there you go and i'll be looking into my mirror over there so excuse me for that also now once you have applied your heat protectant take a paddle brush or any detangling brush and brush your hair so that there will be no tangles or And it will evenly spread your solution, your spray all over your hair. Now give some time for this protectant spray to dry. Because I'm new to curling, so I will be using this glove um, because sometimes I burn my hand. Mm. So I will... use this glove just for extra protection if you are in a new you should always use uh, this glove this glove is a bit loose for me but uh, it's okay now I'll be using my Amica curling wand and I will also be using uh, some of these clips Divide it from like from your ear above ear one portion and below um, your ear another portion. So mm. 
then I again I will divide it into two parts and I will start from my left side so I will take one section and I will just roll my hair into it Wait for 10 to 15 seconds. And then release. See? Twing, twing. What I will do now is I'll just take the curl. I'll again roll it. And using this clip, I will just clip it away. So that way I don't get confused or I don't mix up my hair. So it helps me just to, you know, part the curls and it, it would keep it away. Now again, do the same thing. Grab a portion of hair and roll it. Again, wait for 10 to 15 seconds. So basically, uh, this is the way I will do all my hair. And uh, let me finish it off and once I am completed, once I have done everything, I will show you my final So guys, uh, my curls are done and as you can see they turned out to be beautiful. I will show you. So now if you want, you can uh, use a hairspray to hold your curls but today I'll be leaving it like this only I like the subtle waves on my hair I don't like much tighter curls but uh, this one is good so the more tighter you want your curl to be you have to hold your uh, curls on this wand for a long time and uh, use small chunks of hair that way you can get more tighter curls and if you want a really light wavy kind of hair then use large chunks like two inch or three inch of sections so that's a small uh, tip i wanted to give you so i hope you guys like this um, tutorial um, thumbs up uh, and uh, um, and please visit my uh, Facebook channel, Lovely Nails and Pretty Hairstyles. Uh, I have lots of hairstyle pictures on uh, posted on that page. You can uh, see all those pictures and uh, uh, please read, comment, um, share and like. Subscribe to my channel to get notified of new videos. And um, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.